Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we got two brand new dolls for Miraculous Ladybug. So these dolls have their outfits molded onto their bodies, very similar to the Water Reveal dolls. So thank you to Another Day Another Dolly for letting me know that these dolls are out already. I got them at Walmart. They sell for a really good price. I got them for $9.97 at Walmart. So they're under $10, which is a really good price point. So if you're interested, you can order them online right now. I'm most excited about Cat Noir. As you know, I've been making these dolls with Ladybug, but so far I haven't been able to make any with Cat Noir because the previous versions all had clothing on or removable clothing. So for the first time, we have Cat Noir with the molded outfit, which makes him a very good candidate for a custom. So our first doll here is Ladybug. She comes in the standard box with Ladybug here in the corner. Here's the side and here's the back with Ladybug. All right, and here she is. So let's take a look at her face. So Ladybug here has her hair completely hairsprayed, so it's Totally stiff. She has her mask molded on so you cannot remove this. And here is her outfit. She has a pretty simple body articulated here at the shoulders and at the hips. And that's pretty much it. And oh, oh dear. Is that a missing spot? <laughs> so here's the back. It does look like she ought to have a dull spot here, but she does not. Looks a little bit weird, but for the most part, she does have a lot of spots here um, down the sides of her arms, but not the back. And on the front and the back of her legs, but not the sides. And so let's first compare her to another Ladybug doll. So this one has wears a regular outfit and it does seem like the face is a little bit different. The eyes seem to have been redone a little bit and also the smile. And as you can see with the outfit, she has a lot more spots. But let's also compare her to the color reveal dolls. So this is Ladybug here. Of course, she is not wearing a mask because that is removable. And overall, they look the same. So the only difference is she does not have this yo-yo attached to her waist. So as far as number of spots, I think they're pretty much the same, except for this one missing spot here. So on these dolls, the spots are a little bit lower down here on the bottom. This one is a little bit higher up, which I think it's a little bit better, but we are missing that one spot on this left side, which I think makes it look kind of weird. And here is an up close look at the face. I do think this one is just slightly softer, just a little bit softer face. But it might be hard to tell because she does have a mask on. And her earrings are smaller. So we have a tiny one here, and this one is much bigger. And in fact, I think it actually might be removable. Yeah, I think it is removable. Otherwise, everything is the same. And next we have Cat Noir. So here is Cat Noir inside his box. We have Cat Noir here on the side. Here's Cat Noir again. And here is Cat Noir on the back of the box. Let's go ahead and take him out. Right, and here is Cat Noir. He has blonde hair, he has big ears, he's wearing his mask, he has green eyes, and you can see his bell here, and his outfit is molded on. He looks so good like this. And what I like about the molded body is that you see more muscle definition. So you can see that here instead of the cloth. And I think this is more true to the show. So if you look at this image, the body uh, suit is very tight on his body. So I can see a lot more definition of his muscles. 
And now with the molded one, you can also see that in comparison to the cloth version where he just looks like he's wearing pants. So let's do a comparison of the face. I think they look pretty much the same. I can't tell, but in person, it looks like the hair is bigger on the older version. So we've got more hair here. The color is a little bit different. This is more of a very light orange, and this one is bright yellow. The ears are also pretty big, but a little bit smaller just because I really think the head is actually just smaller on the new one. And if you stand them next to each other, the new Cat Noir is actually a little bit shorter by almost half an inch. And so that makes sense that his head, the, um, the original one, has a bigger head. So for this version, they kind of shrunk him down a little bit. So everything about him is just a little bit smaller. So he is shorter here and also his shoes are a little bit smaller. Here is the back and the front. And one thing I like about the new doll is that the hands are painted black. So it does look like he's wearing gloves. Whereas the other regular doll version, his hands are skin toned and they kind of stand out. And let me just show you an up close look at the outfit, all the details here. So we have the zippers here. We have these little um, triangles here on the side. We have the shoulder pads, the arm guard, the wrist guard. Down here, we have the boots. You can see the little cat toes. And we have the tail with the little um, bumps on them. And you can also see the buckle here. This is really cool. The buckle goes through and the tail goes under. So that's a really cool detail. And just like Ladybug, his articulation is pretty simple here in the shoulders and also the legs. So they just go up and down and the shoulders go up and down and sideways. And to compare the height of Ladybug and Cat Noir, Ladybug is just a smidge shorter than Cat Noir. I think before with these dolls, the height difference is a lot bigger. But now with the new ones, Ladybug has grown a little bit. All right, everyone, so that's the two dolls that we got today. I really like them. They look really, really good. And I actually don't mind that they don't have a lot of articulation. Most of my dolls are for display anyways. And I'm really excited because now that we have a molded Cat Noir, we can start making customs with them. So who do you think we should make first? Another day, another dolly suggested Cat Blanc. Do you agree? Should we make Cat Blanc first? And how about Ladybug? Now that we have a different mold of Ladybug, we can also make some customs with her. So let me know down below in the comment section which customs I should make next. And I'll see you next time. Bye!